Welcome to How to Enroll on Student Connect. We'll show you how to enroll online in your course using UWA's enrollment system, Student Connect, including checking your details, confirming your course and majors, and adding your units. If you're an undergraduate student, we recommend that you also watch our other videos on how to use the handbook to create your study plan, understanding your course structure, and broadening units before you enrol. To enrol, you'll need your UWA student number, which you can find in your offer letter. You'll also need your UWA FEMI password. Your UWA FEMI account gives you access to online UWA systems. You'll activate your FEMI account and create your password when you accept your offer, or you can visit the FEMI website. Lastly, you'll need your study plan, or a list of units that you want to enrol in. Remember, you can only enrol in one calendar year at a time. If you're an Australian citizen or permanent resident, you'll also need your tax file number. It's best to have all this information handy when you enrol. You can access Student Connect via the UniStart website or the current student's homepage. Log on with your UWA student number and FEMI password. Then click Online Enrollment and Change of Enrollment in the Enrollment menu on the left. There are several enrollment steps to complete. Compulsory steps are marked with a red asterisk and non-compulsory steps are marked with a yellow smiley face. As you finish each step, a green tick will appear to show the step is complete. First, check that your personal details are correct. If there's an error, contact Student Administration to request that your information be corrected. You can email us via Ask UWA or visit us in person at Student Central. Check out the campus map for details. If you need to make changes, you must provide us with documents confirming your details, such as a passport. If your information is correct, click Proceed with Online Enrollment. Next, check that your address details are complete and up to date. You'll need a contact address for during teaching periods. This will be used for official correspondence with the university whilst you are enrolled. If you are an international student studying on campus, you must provide an Australian contact address. You'll also need a home address, and this is your address outside of teaching periods. For international students, this is normally an overseas address. You'll also need to nominate an emergency contact person who we can contact if you're involved in an emergency situation. You can update your address details anytime on Student Connect under the Profile menu on the left. The next step collects statistical information required by the Australian Government. Update your details and provide any missing information where required. If your citizenship status or Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander status is not correct, contact Student Administration to have your status updated. Confirm your course details next. These should be pre-filled, but check if you need to make any changes. For example, if you're planning to study part-time, change your expected completion year to a later date. If you think your course or campus is wrong, or you'd like to change it, contact Student Administration. Next, nominate your majors, programs, or specialisations. Most undergraduate students don't have to nominate a major until their second year of study. However, nominating your majors now helps your lecturers and advisors to see what you plan to study and better advise you. Remember, you can always change your majors later if your interests change. We recommend you use the Advanced Search button. If you're an undergraduate student, choose at least one major from the list available in your course. These are your degree-specific majors. Choose a second major if you wish, and then confirm the changes and finish the step. Refer to the handbook for full details on the majors, specialisations or programs available in your course. If you're not ready to nominate your majors yet, you can normally skip this step. If you're a domestic student, you will now fill out your electronic Commonwealth assistance forms. If you're an international student, skip ahead to step 7. The Commonwealth assistance step allows eligible domestic students to apply for loans to defer their fees. There are two types of forms. The first is for your tuition fees, normally a HEX help form for Commonwealth supported courses or fee help form for full fee paying courses. The second form is for your student services and amenities fee, the SA help form. If you want to defer all or part of your tuition fees, you'll need your tax file number. Don't worry if you don't have it, you'll still be able to enrol by selecting upfront payment temporarily. 
Once you have your tax file number, you can fill out your Commonwealth Assistance form again and change your selection any time up until the census date. Just click on the link in the Finance menu. Next is the Student Services and Amenities step, where you can nominate to become a member of the UWA Student Guild. Membership is free and gives you access to a wide range of academic, financial and support services, benefits and discounts. Check out the Guild website for more information. Now you'll submit your student declaration in which you accept the policies and procedures of UWA and your rights and responsibilities. These include providing accurate information and checking your UWA student email account, which is the official means of communication with you as a UWA student. It's your responsibility to be aware of the rules and important dates for the year and to manage your enrolment. This is a legal declaration, so read it carefully. The final step is to select your units. Remember, you're not enrolled until you complete this step. Have your study plan ready. If you're a new undergraduate student, you'll already be enrolled in three compulsory online modules, Academic Conduct Essentials, Communication and Research Skills, and Indigenous Studies Essentials. Postgraduate students will normally only see Academic Conduct Essentials. We recommend that you complete these modules as soon as possible, as they provide an important introduction to the university and the expectations at UWA. You can access the modules on the Learning Management System, LMS. Follow the link on the current student's website. They should only take about an hour in total, and you must complete them in your first semester to avoid a fail on your record. Next, you'll add the units from your study plan. You can only enrol in one calendar year at a time. Make sure you enrol in units for both semesters one and two, unless you're commencing mid-year. You can always change your units later if you need to. Have the handbook website open in another tab to help you check the unit codes. To add units, search for the unit code or use the advanced search option, then click add and add to cart. As you add new units to your cart, they'll be highlighted in pink. When you're ready to save your enrollment, press the proceed to checkout button. Your units should now have an enrolled status. If any are highlighted in green and have an invalid status, this means that you may not have met the unit rules. For example, you may not have the right prerequisites. Don't worry, your faculty will automatically follow up invalid units and either change them to enrolled or ask you to choose a different unit. Invalid units won't stop you from completing your enrolment steps and registering for classes. Once you've enrolled in all your units, click the Finish Online Enrolment button to complete the process. You can always return to the enrolment steps to make further changes within the deadlines, and you can check your enrolment anytime by selecting Course and Unit or Confirmation in the Enrolments menu. Remember, your enrolment is your responsibility, and we recommend that you check it regularly. Congratulations, you're now an enrolled student at UWA. Next, you'll need to choose your classes and create your timetable using the class allocation system, CAS. Follow the steps on the UniStart website, watch our CAS help video, or get assistance from any of these resources.